Welcome back everybody. So I was flying an A-10 around the other day and experienced an unusual electrical storm. I blacked out momentarily but came to in the midst of a dogfight between P-51s and an assortment of German Luftwaffe aircraft. Somehow I had been whisked back to World War II. You ever seen Final Countdown? It was a lot like Final Countdown. Well, luckily my A-10 was armed for violence and without consideration for the potential butterfly effect of me changing the past, I was quick to join the fray. Unfortunately, the good guys were wildly outnumbered five to one by what seemed to be highly capable Luftwaffe pilots. But believe it or not, that's not what we're here to talk about today. Have fun, a dogfight. Oh, mirrors, mirrors. Luckily, given my history dogfighting in the A-10, my Sidewinder missiles could detect and track the relevant planes. Just hope that was a yes. I blew off an ME-109's wing and lined up another Messerschmitt. Managing to narrowly avoid the pilot of the first plane, I fired and heavily damaged another 109 as well. And that was when the problems began. What the heck? Oh, sh**. Okay, well, still got some control here. Oh god, okay, it's just gone. Uh, should be an airport to the south. Gotta get rid of some weight here. That'll be a heck of a find for some ground troops. Stumble upon some Maverick missiles during World War II, just out in the field. Look at that replay. Look at the background. There's me going down. From Hans's perspective. You know, for the record, that looked falafel pilot that shot down an A-10 was a legend. It's important to mention that the whole time the flight was going on, I was in the cockpit. I didn't use any third person view during the flight. All of the outside camera angles you'll see are from replays after the fact. Okay, so I've got some good news in as much as there is good news in this particular situation. Since my left wing was up when it got blown off, I'm still generating enough lift to stay in the air since my right wing is down. If it was only the elevated wing that remained, the plane would go into an uncontrollable spin, and ejection would be my only option. So I've still got some control here. Plus, the wing fuel tanks in the A-10 are between the fuselage and the wheel wells, so it's entirely possible that my fuel tanks aren't even damaged here except for, you know, that fire. As any good aviator would tell you, it's important that you keep your disabled aircraft away from cities. I'm gonna go ahead and go out over the ocean here. Good little opportunity to experiment with some turning as well. So if I level out my wings at all, the plane will pull pretty hard to the left. If I end up with my right wing getting above the horizon, that's probably gonna throw me into a roll. All right, nearly past the city. And the airport should be in the next little community. Okay, field in sight. Looks like an east-west running runway. So pretty much all the lift is being created on the right side of the plane. So we're keeping that low to keep the plane in the air. I don't know what my landing gear situation is or how I'm gonna be able to turn this thing. Since I don't wanna elevate my right wing, I think I'm gonna do a right-handed pattern entry here and just make it so that to control my turns, I just lower the right wing. Yeah, yeah, that should work. There's the field.
Gear down. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Oh, really? Are they down? Yeah, they're down. All right. Of course, I don't know the status of my tires at this point, but we'll figure that out once we're on the ground. Right here, I was just a little bit too busy keeping the plane in the air, and I ended up selecting the shorter runway. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake right here. No flaps. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna change the aerodynamics of this thing at all. No flaps. Oh, come on. Get to the right. Get to the right. Get over there. Get over there. You know what they say, 45 degree bank angle on short final is the way to go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Ah. Stop. <sighs> oh. oh, we're still rolling. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh! I can't believe that landed! All right, so I used the wrong runway. I definitely should have used, well, I was just hesitant to use flaps. I didn't want to change the aerodynamics. I mean, even my speed brake, who knows if that even would have been recoverable if, if I changed how the, how the aerodynamics were working. That was, that was something. Well, you know, this thing seems to be flying pretty well, so let's just uh, go ahead and go once around the pattern here and see if we can figure this out. Tell you what, that landing gear is rugged too. I've still got all my tires intact. All right, taking off. Ooh, little, little pull to the right. It's okay, it's all right. Oh, come on. If I had a different throttle setup, I could uh, use my engines differently here. For the record, I'm only using a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, so I've only got one throttle adjustment mechanism. see here. All right, let's swing around over to the big runway. You know, if you keep your airspeed up and you keep your good wing down, this is actually fairly controllable. It's not ideal. Oh man. Is that, there's a plane on the runway. Did the, is this the German base? Did the Germans really fly back here? I don't even care. I don't even care. Altitude, altitude. Here we go. Over the numbers. Talk about pucker factor. Here we go. Just touch and go. Touch and go. And up. Up, up, up. Yes. Oh man, there are more German planes over here. Okay, so this is this is just where all the Germans are coming to land. Great, great. You know, if nothing else, that tells me that I picked the right runway. This is clearly the, the nearest airport to the battle. Unfortunately, that probably also means that the Germans won handily. I think we'll go ahead and go full stop on this next one. Landing an A-10 at uh, German aerodrome here. Oh, I already did once. I mean, at this point, it's there's just ground crew freaking out, just losing their minds down there. Like, what's this schnitzel is that? You guys remember all those UFOs I talked about in my air traffic control video? This right here. 
Final countdown sort of time travel stuff. Landing a A-10 at a German base. Yeah, since they blew off my wing, they must think that they shot me down, so the enemy fighters are just ignoring me. Not so, Hans. I'm really quite disappointed in myself for landing on the short runway the first time. We could have... We could have kept it on the runway if I would have used the longer runway. That's all right. That's what task saturation will do to you. Oh man, I'm fast. Oh jeez. Well, we get an enemy. <laughs> One of the Germans is on final on the other side here. I'm taking the runway. No flaps yet. Flaps once I'm on the ground. No flaps. And we're down. Oh. Brakes, 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 brakes. Bleed speed. Oh man, I was still, oh jeez. Still going too fast. Back down. Sounds like I might have lost my tires. Uh, stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. This is gonna be close. Ah, turn. Steering engage. Oof. Perfect. Parked at the end of the runway once again. No big deal. Still working though. Still a functional aircraft right here. Oh, lost both my tires. We could probably make it back to parking. Oop. Oh, jeez. Well, if you're driving on flat tires, you're driving on slicks. Excellent. I think we'll just park it right here for the Germans to try and figure out what happened. <laughs> what a flight. Oh, man, this was fun. <laughs> Ultimately, the electrical storm returned and whisked the plane back to the future before the Germans could capture it. But the legend of the plane Hans shot down that had the audacity to land at the aerodrome and then do some light pattern work with only 1.3 wings became the stuff of legend. Stay tuned for the full throttle review of the A-10. Thanks for watching.